Hey, in today's video, we are going to create a simple smart form and our main purpose is to see that how we call a smart form through the driver program. Okay, so let's just go to the T code smart forms and create a simple smart form. The T code is a smart forms. Just hit enter, give some name like Z demo SF5, click on create. Here we just we will just create one uh, in the main window. I'm going to create one graphic. Okay, so right click here and uh, create graphic. You want to see more detail these things, so that is uploaded in another video. So you yeah, just select the name of the graphic, whatever is available here. Just click on execute. So like, uh, let's select this one so the name object id everything has appearing here so we'll now just save it save this in a local object just for practice purpose so check it execute uh, activate it so this is taking some time but after development we used to do save check activate and then execute so you want if you want to see more detailed video on all the topics of smart forms then that is in my different video here we are specifically looking for the driver program so now this is activated so we will execute this so you can see that when we activate the smart form one function module is generated okay so this is the function module generated so just hit execute and execute in the output device gave some um, output device whichever is available you can see this through f4 help as well so here i've given lp01 and now let's click on print preview which will show and uh, give us a preview of how our output will look like so this is looking like this so like i've just i just want one smart form so i'm not here focusing on these alignments and all this is just for demo like our main concern here is to see the driver program right so now just go to this the smart form has been created and like this is the function module generated okay now just go to a map editor through sc38 in another session keep the name of the report as some z demo driver source code and then click create in the title give driver program type as executable program save this in a local object now okay so what happens is that we are going to call this function module right so just copy this one and through how we call function module through pattern here give the name of the function module and it enter so there's nothing to export import okay so just save it check it activate save check no syntax errors activate and now execute this one so you can see our smart form is getting called so I don't print preview so this is the output right okay so like here we have like uh, simply pasted the name of the function module that was generated but what happens in reality is that this function the name of the function module associated with this smart form is this in this server right suppose this is my development server so the name generated is 337 in the end but when it is transported to quality the name of the function module that was generated that will change to some other name like here it could be 338 339 when again this is transported to another server like production it will again change so in that way if we 
call our smart form through this function module name so in that case this will give dump right because our function module name is changing in different servers so now what we can do is we can create we can call the function module uh, we can save the name of the function module that is getting changed in a variable right and then we can call that okay so for that what we are going to do is we will use the another function module that is the name of the function module is ssf underscore function module name what is this function module name uh, doing the let me just first call it go to pattern the name is ssf underscore function underscore module name this you have to remember this is a very important interview question for like two three years experienced so just hit enter so here you can see um, this call function has exporting importing parameters in the exporting whatever we are passing to the this smart form as input here and importing whatever the fu this function module is doing and returning uh, in variable in whatever it is returning that will be in importing parameters right so let's just uncomment the importing here and here okay so here we have to export means uh, pass the name of the smart form in form name right we are providing the name of the smart form as input so what was the name of the smart form the name of the smart form is constant that is not changing that will be always be z demo as z demo as 5 sf5 so here we will just hard code it here z demo sf5 okay now though so the ssf function module name is taking z demo s5 as input and accordingly it is returning the name of the function module that is associated with this smart form like sometime it could be 337 in the end sometime it could be 338 in the end 339 in the end so where it is returning in my fm underscore name in the importing parameters fm underscore name right so we will have to declare a variable where it will store so for that what what would be the type of the variable that uh, that is that that we are going to uh, provide an importing fm mm -hmm. underscore name that should be of type fm underscore name so so in order to check the it's the type of fm underscore name we will just let's just double click on this function module so here you in the export you can see fm underscore name so whatever was export there will become import here and whatever was import there will become export here so that fm underscore name was an importing there so here in, in this here it will in export so for this function module you can check my another video so like this is of type irs 38 lf name so just copy it and declare one variable of this type so that using the data smith mint so that that plv underscore name this is the name of the variable and this must be of type this and now we are going to put the name of lv underscore name here okay so you got what is happening here just save it uh, this function module as is a function module name is taking the name of the smart form as input and then doing some execution and then returning the name of the function module associated with this smart form in lv underscore name okay Saved. Now then check it and activate it. 
so we can see that everything is done now just execute it 